so the topics we going to, going to see here uh, in this uh, component processing are uh, <clears throat> process a component with the with respect to a uh, sales and distribution process with a debit memo and credit memo request what is return processing <clears throat> what is invoice correction request processing how to cancel a billing document and all that okay now processes in complaint processing so so under complaint pro processing so we, we could like what it is so for example we have manufactured a product and uh, we we sold to a customer and customer is not happy with the product and uh, com customer is complaining okay and the complaint could be of uh, any reason for example the customer is saying that um, <coughs> Uh, that uh, the the goods that I received are no good. Okay, they were damaged in the in the transit or in the shipping process or something or or anything. Okay, or as they are not as per the their specification. Okay, so in this case, what we'll do, we'll create a return request. Okay, so we'll create a return request and we will ask the customer to send the goods back to us. Okay, so in this case, we'll create a return request. And if the customer is saying that okay, I um, I received the goods, but you have invoiced me uh, extra that what I'm supposed to do. So for example, they can say I received the goods for ten pieces, but uh, the the invoice I received is for twelve pieces. Okay, so the, for that two extra um, <coughs> pieces in the invoice. Okay, so in that case, will and and they they paid for this one. Okay, so the the customer already paid for this those twelve pieces. Now they all of a sudden they they were doing the checking the reconciliation and uh, they found out that <coughs> they paid extra to us then in this case we'll create a credit memo or credit memo request okay and the third case could be like invoice correction so they received an in, in, in invoice and they're saying the price is price mentioned in the invoice is incorrect or the quantity mentioned is again incorrect for example uh, they received 10 pieces but the sales order is, but the billing document is saying 12 pieces so these are different types of um, <clears throat> complaints. <clears throat> so let's start with the credit memo request. What is a credit memo request? Okay. So credit memo request. So customer is, you know, they're saying that um, they received, uh, uh, they placed an order for uh, 12 pieces and um, for 12 laptops, but they received actually only 10. Okay, but we have invoiced them for 12 pieces. We, we should be invoicing them only for what they have uh, received so far, say 10 pieces. But we have received, say, uh, we have sent uh, an invoice to the customer with 12 pieces and customer has done the payment as well. Okay, now when they, they found out later on, they find out that they have paid extra to us. <coughs> now in this case, we'll create a credit memo for the customer. Okay, credit or debit. debit. So debit memo is the other way wrong. For example, when Credit memo is when we need to give the money to the customer for any reason. Debit memo is when we need to receive the customer money from the customer for any reason. Okay, so so in, in the case of debit memo, uh, let, let's, let us discuss the case of credit memo first. Okay, so <coughs> credit memo. So how to create a credit memo? So So credit memo is nothing, it's just a different types of sales order. Okay. So again, the same process, I will go to, I will go to VA01 and here I will create a credit memo request. Okay. So here the order type will not be OR, this time it will be something else. So it will be CR, um, CR, credit memo request. Okay. I'll select this one, CR. Okay. Now, when you create a credit memo request, you have two options. Okay, so so what happened initially? As I said, let me explain it here. So we created a for the, for the customer, we created a sales order for um, twelve pieces. Okay, then, but delivered quantity was ten pieces. But the billing document 
is pot valve, not tank. Okay. So in this case, customer is saying that okay, give me my money money back. Okay, they paid for all the twelve, and later on they realize they paid extra to us. Now they're saying okay, give me my money back. Okay. So in this case, I will create a I'll create a credit memo. So the credit memo can be created with reference to a either uh, with reference to either billing document or can be created with reference to a sales order as well. Okay, so it can be either reference to anything. Okay, so uh, let me find out a order first that we created previously. Um, On this one Yeah, that's a good example. So if I open this sales order, now the sales order was this one three three eight eight, and delivery and billing document is this nine something. Okay, so let me create a, uh, a <coughs> credit memo request. So let me open this um, billing document number. I will copy this billing document. Okay, so I will go back. Go back. And go to the screen of the sales order creation. So I will create a sales order. Here I will call it CR credit memo request. Okay. Press enter. So here, sorry, I need to go step, go step back. Here, what I'll do, I will say I want to create with reference. So create with reference. And here, either I can create with reference to a billing document or I can I can click on this order tab. I can create it with order as well. So same thing, no difference. So let me create it with billing document. So here I will paste that billing document number or I can search for it. I can search here. I can say, give me all the billing documents for the payer 301336, I guess. This is the customer. Okay, I think this is a wrong number. So, but I copied the billing document number here. So this is my billing document I want to create reference with. And I'll say copy. It will copy the data from the billing document to here. Okay, so it's it's copying it's, co it's copied that there's a, there should be only one quantity, I guess. Uh, let me double check. So this is my billing document. Yes, so quantity was one piece, so it copied one piece. So so we're creating a billing document. Uh, sorry, a credit memo request. So he, if you see on the top here, it's not saying standard order. It's saying uh, credit memo request okay now for this one even if you see the item category will will be different g2n is different because we go, going we're not going to deliver this product we, we're just giving them their money back so in this case what will happen is credit memo will first create a credit memo request and this credit memo will become a credit memo sorry the next step will be there will be no delivery process. There will be straight up a, a billing. Okay. A billing uh, or you can say it's a credit will give them credit. Credit memo. Or, or you can call it billing as well. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We're creating a credit memo request. And from this credit memo request, we'll do create a billing document or a credit memo for the customer. Okay.